I was in third grade. I was first at school. So my friends was playing football outside, and I was just watching them. I was like, I was like, is this game really that fun? Because I'm watching movies used to like soccer and basketball. Like, it seemed like you guys just running around doing nothing and stuff. Like, they're not that interested. I actually started playing with them once in a while, just like, just like blocking and helping them. I was like playing safety. I was like, me and this kid named Danny, like, it was unstoppable. Like, I was like, I was like, Ed Reed, and he was like Troy Palomalu back. You know? That's what we used to call each other. As a player, IB is a dominant defensive player. He's got great length, um, great pass rush skills. Can always be disruptive of the quarterback. Um, plays with a great motor. Uh, IB is a multi-talented guy that we can drop into coverage, but in the same respect, rush the pass and, and do some great things with. They were playing Brunswick, and you know they had a, a great play. Like they brought it all the way down where the red zone. He, I looked at him and I was like, "Come on, bro, we got this." He was like, "Bro, we definitely got this. They're not scoring." not scoring, told everybody, turned around and told everybody they're not scoring. Just like the leader position, like the heart, everything. Like screaming it, like you could tell like he really meant it. And he kept them out. Most kids down my path, I went they went through the same path with me. Wouldn't some of them are not here right now. I've seen people in my backyard get killed, people fell to drugs. Like from the neighborhood I came from, I could have went through down that path. But I chose to play football, get away from there, like and try to do something good with my life. We've been through too much for me to like fail. And some people just want to like stick to that hood life for like the rest of their life because they think that's the best they could do. But me, I think I could do way better than that. I think I could actually take my family and my like the generation after me out of jail. We talk all the time about uh, the experience of a student. Uh, what this young man has seen in his life at the age of 18, 19 years old, most of us will never see. Uh, to grow up where he grew up in Sierra Leone, to see the things that he witnessed, uh, to then have to make a, a change and, and move to New Jersey, to an area he didn't know, he didn't have family. Uh, and through all of that, IB has never wavered. Through all of that, he's actually prospered. Sierra Leone, like, the struggle was good back then. My mom used to be like one day to take care of us. She was like a single parent back home. My mom built up, built house for her mom, a one bedroom. It was me, my mom's mom, my two sisters, and my cousin, and my uncle. So it was like seven people living in that one house that my mom built. Like, it wasn't like something like you want to live in, but it's something that you had to deal with, because that's the best you could probably get at that time. She used to feed us by herself, so I'm not we probably wouldn't eat. But most of the time, like we used to drink and sugar and water together with some bread. He's just a great guy all around, and it's, it's as much fun to root for him in math class or in real life as it is to root for him on the football field. I moved to the U.S. in 2006. I was 7 and 10 and 8. I grew up in a neighborhood called Hampstead in Somerset, New Jersey. It was peaceful, but then, like, things happened and changed over time because people moved in and out. Drugs being dealt over there, people got killed, some people stabbed. If you were shot, seeing all those like people just die just in like in a neighborhood that doesn't look like things happen to you. I had lots of friends that went down the wrong path. Most of them fell to drugs, some now in jail, and most of them went through that wrong path because they didn't have nothing that could guide them away from it. He has worked hard in the classroom. He's a great student. Uh, he's overcome language barriers, challenges, uh, and done all that and always maintain the same positive attitude. When you talk about the heart of a giant, he is. He, he's a young man that nobody would ever know the things that he's gone through. And he's always first to want to help you or thank you for the things that you've done. But honestly, we're all thankful that we're getting to know him um, and, and experience that positive energy, that uh, passion that he has not only for the game of football, uh, but for life in general. And, and to see him and his family, what they've done, uh, is just a testament to courage, conviction, and, and the things that you would think when you talk about being a heart of a giant, that's what, that's what it's all about.